Hello and welcome to Crypto Setups. My name is Fez and this DeFi tutorial comes to you from Icon Plus, the Icon public representative providing the cryptocurrency and blockchain community the latest insights on Icon. Let's dive straight in. Today I am going to show you how to use the new automated market maker protocol that has launched on Icon. It's called Icon Pool and you can get to it by going to iconpool.io so today what I'm going to run you through is how you can swap a token which is extremely simple I'm going to show you how you can add liquidity to this exchange now uh, it's a little different there's a few more steps involved here so I will take the time to run uh, you through it so um, there's no confusion and you yourself feel confident at the end of this tutorial to add liquidity as you please. So once you land on the website click on login obviously same steps as always pick your wallet now again this is my showcase wallet for the purpose of this tutorial and when we land as soon as it's connected you can see it's got a bit of my balance and how much I have a tap Currently on this exchange, you can only swap between ICX and TAP. Now, keep in mind with the new integration coming through, we'll have DAI and various other ETH and many other tokens that are going to come across as um, IRC20 tokens on, on to ICON, which is quite exciting. But for the moment, this is, this is what we have. It has just launched. Uh, and a few things to keep in mind here is the team is actively working on upgrading the UI and um, a few other little bits and pieces based on community feedback which has been fantastic so if, if you do use it I encourage you to um, touch base with the team to let let them know about your experience or um, if anything you know you had any tips or, or wanted help with anything I actually jumped on there and got a fair bit of help from them and um, they were great answered my questions instantly okay so Swapping. Let's let's do a quick trade here. Simple. If you'd watch my Unify tutorial, it's pretty much the same. Um, I am going to in this in this example swap one ICX to what tap it gives me. Now you can see from from a price perspective, uh, it will automatically show you the best price that it has. It's trading at at the moment, and you can tell this there's a few ways to tell it at the moment you go into icon swap to see what the latest is but you'll find it's very much similar um, if you if we swap this around for example and go one tap you can see now it will say see so that's the current market rate and this is where this protocol differs to what we've currently been used to on icon on icon swap we have to either set up our own trade with a set amount of ICX and tap what we're after or we pick the exact amounts that are on offer you no longer are bound to that you can come onto icon pool and uh, buy one tap if you like or you could buy 50 tap you, it doesn't matter so in uh, and you can see this is the current market rate because this is what everyone on icon would be used to seeing so let's go back switch this around I'm gonna take one one ICX and swap it for 42 excellent now to touch to let you know slippage okay so keeping in mind a slippage happens based on the amount of liquidity that's in the protocol given my swap is next to nothing it's not impacting the price at all um, however if I were to go uh, 500 you can see that uh, the price would have slipped by 2% which would mean that I would have paid an extra 2% based on the current rate what it's offering um, it's something to keep in mind uh, but as the protocol gets more and more liquidity which I'll show you how to add uh, you will the slippage will get better so just keep that in mind okay coming back to one excellent I'm gonna initiate my swap as always anything you do any click it will always ask for password it should be pretty quick and done you can straight away see I've gotten a little bit of extra tap so that's how you do your swaps you can swap back and forth um, now let's let's move across to 
the main thing everyone will probably be watching this video for is adding liquidity. So when you click on manage pools it's got you can see over here that this is the total pool and, and this is where the UI hopefully will get a bit of a tweak but um, as it stands a total pool this is what you're looking at your share in the pool that's what you're looking at and then uh, my score balances now I'll explain where all this comes into picture one thing do not come here and start doing anything because you may be able to add some liquidity over here and when you add your transaction will fail so before you come into manage pool the first step of adding liquidity is going into balances so you first have to deposit your balances that you want to add to the liquidity pool into the score which is labeled here so you and you have to deposit what you want of each pair so now we know that there's only ICX and tap so let's add those ICX I'm going to put in and you have to do them as separate transactions unfortunately at the moment you can't um, join them or split them at the same time. Now this is where the icon upgrade, icon 2.0 will remedy a lot of this and, and should enable a much more user friendly and quicker experience for everyone. But for now this is what we have and let's go. So I will deposit 5 ICX again you password you hit transfer I've seen this process a few times so I'm not talking through it anymore and as soon as it's done you can already see it's there so now we need to put you need to put both the tokens remember because the trading pair will always want uh, you have to add both sides now with tap you so when you're adding liquidity in the next stage you have to add always the even amount and that's not if you're adding 5 ICX you add 5 tap it is even amount price wise always remember this so one of the things that happens over here is it's not giving an indication of I've added 5 ICX well how much tap would I need to add in, in here to ensure that I have the same amount that matches the 5 ICX price it does not show that in this piece. It will show it in the manage pool piece. The reason why it doesn't show it here is soon there will be multiple pairs and, and this, this side is designed for you to kind of go I want to add 200 ICX and your various tokens in one screen and then come into the other and pair up your ICX against each, each, other, each other token. So given we only have the two tokens ICX and tap you know it's just tap so let's um I can vaguely work out now if you over deposit you can claim it back so don't worry about that um, how much shall I put in here I'll put in one ICX gave me 42 so I'll put in the three uh, 280 280 tap and deposit again and you will see the tap appear. Excellent. That's it. You're done here. The next thing you have to do is head on to manage pool. Now this is where it looks a little bit different. Again, total pool won't change. You haven't added any liquidity. Um, your pool won't change. You haven't done anything. But here you go. You have a score balance now. Now this is what you can add into li your liquidity. So I will put the 5 ICX here. Now one of the things uh, if you recall earlier I said you could add if there were other tokens you could keep adding them now this is where what I meant like you could have your total ICX balance and then pick your different pools and slowly keep adding again in this example we only have the one pair so we'll pick it and I know I put in five ICX I wanted to match it so and this is again what I said earlier if you noticed it's automatically in this side it's automatically matching how much is required. It doesn't do it on the uh, on the first screen, so you have to have a decent idea of what you're putting in. Because the last thing you want to do is just add 50 tap. You get here and realize, oh, you cannot allocate all your ICX into that 
tap pool because you've not given enough tap to, to add into the pool because it has to be even. So, 5 and there we go. You can see I've added too much tap. That's okay. As long as I can push this through, that's great. So we add the 5 ICX. It automatically pulls the amount of the uh, tap that's required from my 280, which is 211. Click on Add. Again, as you can see, it's asked for the password. Click Transfer transfer give it a moment and you will see there we go so looking at this now I have added I have an LP so this is what you get in return which is basically an, an IOU to your claim of what you've deposited now every time someone trades 0.30% is paid in fees which is go which is paid back to the liquidity providers which is me and everyone else who has provided liquidity into this pool so what you'd see happen is if at the moment if you had a decent share in the pool and, and this is a great overview you can see off the overall liquidity what I have provided I only have a 0.024% in this pool. So every time there was a trade off that 0.3%, I would get my, which is which would be n nothing really. But uh, you know, you're talking if you have 100, 2, 3, 4, 500, 600 trades happening a day, and then it keeps growing, and you hold a bit of liquidity into that pool, it starts adding up. Those fees start to add up. So. That, that, that's how this works, that's how you read the screen as well. So my share is here and you can see that I have a little bit of excess tap. Now I can go back into balances and um, here we go, S pick tap and pick withdraw and put that exact amount in and withdraw it and it'll appear back in my wallet. I'm just going to go back to this screen again and show you one more thing. So over here, say it's been one month and you come into this and you're looking at your shares now this should change a little bit um, and why it will change it is I'll talk through that in a second I wanted to just also show you so if you were to remove your liquidity down here um, all you would do is type ensure you type the exact balance that's being shown and then remove it once you remove it then you can go back into balances and remove all your ICX and tap back into your wallet. This step won't put it back into your wallet. You need to go into balances and, and then withdraw for it to appear back into your wallet. Um, okay, coming back here, the reason why I paused on this, so your your ratio of what you deposited, like I put in the 5 and in 211, however in a couple of days I probably this would be a little bit different it will either be a lot a bit more in ICX or a bit more in tap now that is dependent on the way the market swings so if if the ICX price starts to climb what you would find is everyone would start and say the market starts selling their tap into ICX uh, you would end up with more tap in your pool that you have you know provided if ICX price starts to go down and TAP starts to increase, every, you will end up with more ICX. <laughs> now, if the price fluctuates, it doesn't fluctuate too much between the two pairs, that's fine. That is, that is the point of these trading pools. And the more liquidity that gets provided, the harder it is, you know, it, the less of an Im impact it has to your overall pool. This is what is tr commonly known as impermanent loss. You know, so uh, these are risks you have to weigh up before you use these protocols. Now, there could be another person going, you know what? I don't care if I end up with more ICX or more TAP. Yeah, great. Then this is for you. Excellent. Because this, you'll always end up with the the amount you've put in, in that value, but it could be skewed in either way um, of the token. Now, um, the last piece of this is 
just calling out remember at the moment you if you are you would have to have your ICX and tap unstaked to provide liquidity so ensure you are weighing up your risks and rewards before you use protocols um, at the same time there's no harm in playing around these fees are you, you can see that we don't pay a lot on fees in on icon which is great so um, have a play around and get used to this because because there are many more like these coming which involve adding liquidity or you know lending borrowing and you want to get used to it so that you feel comfortable using um, the other protocols that come on as well so I think that that provides a thorough summary of how this works um, again when you want to remove you just follow the steps backwards uh, you come back to here remove make sure you type in the exact amount do not over type so don't don't think for a moment you can go oh you know what I'll ask for a bit more of, um, this I'll put in two zero point zero two eight and it will give me a bit more of a uh, uh, tap and ICX back it won't the transaction will just fail so ensure you type in the correct amount remove it come to your balances and then you have to swap between tokens and withdraw the amounts that you have in there um, yeah that's how you use this protocol now I hope you've enjoyed watching if you are enjoying my content please uh, you know click the like button and subscribe I will and if there's anything you want to see um, me take you through please let me know and I'll create a video for just that thanks everyone for watching